Hey guys, how are you doing today? Well, something has happened. I have a new phone. Well, it's not actually a new phone. It's an old iPhone, I think 3S or something, which Helmut, Helmut, gave to me. It's his old phone. But the cool thing is, before I had like this Nokia Windows phone, where I couldn't have any apps, so now I have this iPhone and there are those apps, I don't know, which you can yeah, use. So I'm trying to figure out how to use those uh, new or old apps for you. They are old for me, they are quite new actually. So what do we have here? We have apps like... I know Facebook app, we have Instagram, we have the Facebook Messenger, we have Twitter, what else? Oh, YouTube and Tinder, oh, awesome, and some other apps, hmm. So let's check it out. So let's try Instagram. Woo! This is Instagram. Wow, it's so fast. And I've already tried to do some stories, but I don't really get it. If I swipe left here, I get the camera. Hmm. Turn it around. Oh yeah, here I am. Hmm. So what I'm doing now is at the same time vlogging. Woohoo! And Instagram stories. Oh. Uh -huh. And now, we can what watch I'm it. Doing now is at the same time vlogging. Doing now. So now I, I can give myself Ooh. some glasses. And Instagram. So, and I've added it to my story. What else? Yeah, Twitter. I've already been there. Oh, and Tinder. Hmm, how does this work here? Very slow, very slow. Who do we have here? It's Ivanka, 29 years old. Uh huh. Let's look at the pictures. Okay. Well, interesting. Oh, two friends. Ooh, that's, ooh, let's like her. Like, whoo! I don't like, I don't like. Hmm, maybe Eva, 28. Eva, no, don't like. Yeah, very, very boring. I don't know. Oh, 8,400 males. So yeah, I'm not gonna show you all of this because you probably have such a phone yourself. It's just for me and you. Uh, well, but I think it's it's a cool thing. I mean, think about that. For the first time in history, we are able to transmit our thoughts, our ideas over this in real time, like over the whole world. Like I can shoot a video and put it on Instagram and anybody on the world can receive those ideas. So before, I mean, it's like a totally new revolution, I think. Like before it was, I don't know, letters. You could send letters to the whole world. Then you would uh, have the radio and listen to somebody from the other side of the world, maybe. Then there comes television and now comes this thing over the internet, connecting everything with everything, spreading your words, your ideas, your pictures, information, your hope, your thoughts, your fears over the whole planet basically in real time. I mean, if you think about this for one time, it's so awesome. And that's what I find interesting about this rather new technology about, I don't know, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter and so on. Because those things are for the first time possible and I for myself like playing with it and seeing where it goes and trying to find some interesting content to publish. So 
That's what I find so fascinating about this technology. And it's also awesome for the ego to, I don't know, I mean, why am I doing this? Why am I showing so much over the internet about myself? It's, I guess, because of my ego and I, I don't know, talking about myself, filming myself all the time. It's, I don't know where it comes from, but it's just there as so well. I'm spreading the message. I mean, there are obviously also critical points about this. I mean, first of all, I mean, they know everything about you. They know everything, every word I say, every picture is out there and you don't know who is watching it, what's it going to be used for in the future. And that's obviously, I mean, um, they have everything at the moment. That's very creepy, actually. I know there was this... Austrian uh, guy who said Facebook is Stasi of Freiwilliger Basis. So Facebook is like the state security agency on a voluntary basic basis, and I think he's very right with that. Facebook is Stasi of Freiwilliger Basis. <laughs> Other critical points could be the spam issue that over all those networks were already being spammed. Bammed, like by so many things like from all the channels comes so much information that we're already overwhelmed by it so ah, I'm also contributing to this spam issue by choosing now to use all those other channels too to spread my words so yeah the spam issue is also very critical to see next critical point would be the ir irrelevance of it like how relevant is it really what we are producing here, like all of us over Facebook and so on? Aren't there more important problems on earth at the moment? And last critical point, I would say, what happened to classical journalism? What happened to the journalist who really takes an effort, who really tries to find a story, find information from different sources and then publishes this well-made story? All these discussions about fake news and so on are also happening because of all this social media overload. So there are obviously many many critical points about this. But I think you have to be on the one hand aware of those critical points and still make use of the new technology because it is here, people are using it. You cannot neglect that. So we have to find like the balance between overload and not critical use of it and uh, making it uh, like very useful and using it for our purpose and making the world actually a better place with it. I think that's the balance we have to keep and that's what can only come from using it and experimenting with it and trying to find out everything about this technology. So my question for you today is, are you watching this vlog actually on a PC, on a computer? Or are you already consuming it on a mobile phone? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys.